Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Samfix YouTube channel and this is Poco F5 5G custom ROM reviews or the Redmi Note 12 Turbo custom ROM reviews. Back with new video. This is Matrix OS. Android version is 14. You guys can see the Android version here. And 10.4.1 is the version here with G apps built. KSS Rao is the device maintainer. Vendor and sec Android security patch is 5th April 2024, which is latest one here. Baseband version you can see. Kernel user is 5.10.205. ZKI kernel has been used. Build date is April 11th and build number you can see, which is a latest version here and we'll see some results and everything here first starting with the home screen and app drawer you can see home screen customizations if i press and hold here wallpapers and customizations in the lock screen customizations again this one is missing here you can't change it here that has been missing even though it's an android 14 there is a customization miss regarding android 14 guys and home screen customizations you actually get the colors option here and other colors and dark theme options can be done from here if you want to change the wallpapers there are pre-installed wallpapers which are matrix related here and themed icons app grid up to you will get 6 into 10 which is massive here and icons customizations and font customizations and shape customizations you can do it from here and if i even press and hold here you also get the widgets option here if i can select here the clock yeah those customization options are available here you can press and hold and adjust it later also as you can see i'll adjust this much small also you can make it out which is really cool in my opinion and these are the apps and things i'm using this is the app drawer and this is the typical quick settings toggle what i can get here i'll increase a little bit of brightness here this are the ui currently the quick settings toggles and the power button embedded here and you also get app active status here and these all the uh, options i have as you can see even there is a dolby atmos support here and other options you can check out if you want to add them you can da drag and add it here let me add this fps information will it give accurate results or not that again a question mark anyhow we'll select this you can see the real-time fps count on the left end of the corner of the screen and this is the ui and let's see dialer here what i can get and this is not a google dialer guys but you still get a uh, direct video call support and there is a record call feature is also available but it will not announce the other person your recording a call which is good thing here and this is the uh, browser where browser has been pressured if you want to use other browsers you can definitely do it out and camera application again you get a hyper os camera here more options are given here nothing kind of leica or anything like that here you guys can see in the video mode you get 4k 30 no 60 in the photo mode you get all these options here this is a hyper s camera not a MIUI camera you guys can see here and nothing else has been pre-installed camera these google apps and other apps are pre-installed and this is the folder animation looks like typical home skin and quick settings toggles which are really really good no uh, lag or anything like that and file manager is also given and the gallery is also pre-installed here we'll show the results right now i start with the geekbench scores you can see 1127 is the single score and 3390 is the multi-score and links 5.10.205 zki kernel has been used here android version is 14 and geekbench version 6.2.2 i am using and this is the uh, antidote benchmark is this 9,29,986 is the score what I got a little bit lower but still it's good in my opinion 1.2 degrees Celsius is the temperature raise and 4 percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing of this antidote benchmark is this and version used is 10.2.4 and this is the matrix 10.4.1 one and these are the read rate speed test with graphical and numerical interpretation and this is the safety net status results you can see basic integrity and cts profile match both getting passed here hence you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use those going to work fine without any problem and device is also certified here and this is the drm information here hdr 10 and 10 plus and dolby vision certification is also available and level one sorry level three certified for some reason i don't know that's the problem here and these are the uh, internet speed test i got atel 
fiber connection i have 200 mps and this is with 5g i am getting around 340 mps and this is charging slowly till so starting out uh, later that you will be getting charging uh rapidly as you can see up to 24 up to 67 watt also it will show the 67 watt charging support is available in this particular rom let's see the uh, matrix settings this are the customizations what you can get here about matrix you can read out once you flash this and buttons again you get click to partial screenshot it's an extra feature and power menu again you can customize them you can even add the advanced restart button or disable from here and other customizations you can check out on the screen guys lock skin customization again custom clock style font style battery information temperature unit you can select battery bar when charging i know you get plenty of options here once you enable that and regarding miscellaneous settings you get unlimited high fps count in games obviously we are getting directly 90 fps support for this particular bgm kind of games for this particular smartphone however you can get a option here and spoofing for unlimited photo storage for google photos is also available swipe to three finger screenshot is also given here sensor block per package and pocket detection options are also included in the miscellaneous coming to navigation here again you get pixel animation and some of the actions you can actually select for example back long press you can kill the app here if you want to change that you can actually do it from here and other actions you can check out home double tap long press long press long wipe swipe those all the options you get in the navigations here and in the quick settings toggle again header image you can enable and you can actually change them there are image collection static image custom image you can select them as you can see this all the some of the uh, given options here as you can see it's kind of theme options only in the header once i will enable that you'll come into uh, understanding here if you can select the nature random you can see now this how it looks like really really cool guys they have implemented really really well uh, and you also install some headers from here actually and you can even select the uh, image from gallery whatever you download it and offset customization you can actually increase or decrease and image shadow level also you can increase or decrease which is really good in my opinion again battery style you get some options here to customize them and battery percentage you can hide or remove it in left or right side behind the charging uh, animation i mean the hide keyways on secure lock screen again you get those options dual toned theme background opacity footer opacity when to show position them haptic feedback other things also you can customize here you can even customize the qs uh, tiles here you can actually make square tiles it takes some time as you can see now it's in square tiles which is really good in my opinion here again hide label qs panel style again you get some stylings here uh, that is the shaping and this is one style here if i make it cyberpunk it looks like this as you can see there's a battery this brightness slider which is really really good these customizations are very good animation style you can choose here data uses clear notification button again you get plenty of options here notifications customizations also you get toast to animation again you get plenty of options here alert slider notifications noisy notifications and other things you can check out island notification also given once you get any uh, message it will be directly displayed while you are playing games like bgm or anything like that and blink flash light for incoming call is disabled you can actually select some of the customization from here and coming into sound again you get pulse notifications here you can actually customize there are a lot more options once you enable that you get plenty of options to customize the pulse here of the music and again volume steps you can count it out volume panel styles again i will show one here uh, this one gradient style again it will match us the uh, qs panel what i selected here that's how it is you can actually change the type of volume panel from here other things vibrate on connect call waiting disconnect you can enable or disable from here status bar customizations again status bar icons you can add it or disable for this particular rom from here that you can do it directly here clock style again you can select it clock and date you can actually select from here network traffic monitor also you can enable that once you enable you get other options too and view wi-fi icon ba bluetooth battery status and mic and camera privacy indicator other things you can enable or disable and colored icons also you can enable or disable from here show notification count if you want to see the notification count on your app you can actually enable from here you can actually add the logo also as i added here left end or right end you can select them you can also change the style of the logo in this particular rom 
battery style again you can change from here and battery percentage also you can adjust from here battery bar once you enable that you get again plenty of options to customize in this particular rom blend colors alignment also you can choose it from here color options low battery color charging animation custom charging color and charging color you can actually adjust the thickness of the battery bar also if i enable as you can see you now the battery bar thickness is really really big you can actually customize them really really useful you should definitely try it out this rom once you flash this rom you can definitely try it out this is a battery bar other options like top padding left padding and right padding also you can do it out here now moving into user interface again settings home page widgets if you want that you can enable or disable from here monet settings again you get some options like theme style and accent colors these will be remaining similar to any other custom roms out there ui style also you can select from here navigation bar style you can adjust from here font styles again there are plenty of it given and the other things you can actually customize smart pixels uh, rotate button full screen apps if certain apps is not playing in the full screen you can actually customize from here yeah, these are the matrix settings now let's move into the actual settings what we can get here underneath that uh, network internet connect and devices those remains very similar apps also again you get default apps and special app access and notification history you can check out from here enhance the notifications options is also given in the battery settings thermal profiles battery usage you can see it hasn't been recorded it sleep mode is also given here and battery saver you won't get extreme battery saver yet. charging control is given anyhow once you enable that you get three different options you can select from here guys and battery optimization you get individual apps and select them which are optimized which are not optimized you can select all apps also idle manager is given battery charge warning is given you can even select them and choose the percentage what you want battery statistics is also given from here and the battery life is really really good once you start using this particular rom you will be notifying that and again storage and my variant is tool 256 gb 8 gigabytes of ram sound and vibration again uh, every option is given Dolby Atmos is given once you use the wired earphones the audio output is fine even the dual stereo speakers volume is fine while taking calls also I haven't faced any issues clear speaker options is also given vibration and haptics is given and haptic feedback patterns are also given here now moving into display again you get brightness level adaptive brightness extra dim lock screen skin timeout lock screen timeout again other options like dark theme once you enable the dark theme it will be not in the pitch black condition but there is option called pure black once you enable that it will be in pure black condition you also get the option to schedule them out that's really cool in my opinion let me disable the dark theme display size and text again uh, live display you can adjust from here colors i like to keep it saturated at least to look better in the video refresh rate again you get adaptive refresh rate 60 screen saver is given tap to wake tap to sleep wake on play per app refresh rate also you can select from here which is cool in my opinion again accessibility settings which is a handy feature i always tell them uh, to use the shortcut because without actually using the physical volume buttons you can access the volume not even that just uh, brightness also without actually uh, dragging the notification toggle here i mean the quick settings toggle you can actually customize them which is a handy feature again flash notifications uh, those are the new things has been added you should definitely try it out once you use this kind of particular rom guys and security and privacy again you get both fingerprint and face unlock here there's no uh, app lock anyhow let me show you the fingerprint unlock first followed by face unlock as you can see the fingerprint unlock is very much fast and accurate to unlock your smartphone using that and this is the face unlock it's also fast and accurate really really good both fingerprint and face unlock are working fine location and google maps everything is working fine no need to worry regarding that too and digital well-being and parental control so everything is working fine here you can check out the charts and system if you go into again gestures into navigation mode gesture navigation you get both the options to increase the pill length and also the pill radius increase you can do it from here and these are the other options you can get from here and double tap to check the phone is there lift to check the phone and show ambient navigation mode one ended mode three finger screenshot already shown you this are the things and settings and actual settings the ua is really really good you also get the game space here you can actually select the game for example bgmi and select into settings and select the performance mode if you want to use this experimental mode you can actually check out these all the uh ui ui settings results and everything i have explained let's see the bgmi how it actually handles in this particular rock.
and you guys can see the graphic settings once it done yeah as you can see the graphic settings are set to 90 fps as i said before extreme plus here it is showing uh, that means you will get 90 fps support here in this particular room let's see how it actually handles in this particular room the gaming experience was really good in the previous version i didn't make the video i think so this is the first video of matrix OS for poco f in my channel and if you are still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button down below this and also follow the bell notification for seeing the bell icon once i upload the new videos like this you will be notified and if you are still not liking my video like this video guys go ahead and at least do 100 likes for this video that's it that target 100 likes yeah that's how it is the gaming experience is fine here no lag even in the counter attacks it is not lag again guys you'll get just a brief idea here not complete idea how it actually handles in the game it's already been a lengthy here video hence i can show only a little bit of the thing here yeah it's fine the gaming experience and this the volume panel looks like and these are the quick settings toggles what i changed the gaming experience is fine here i did not face any issues you can actually see the real time fps count here on the left corner i already enabled that from the start of the video volume has been increased here let me do one thing yeah there was slight lag there anyhow overall the gaming experience is fine here yeah we'll come back here that's the matrix os guys for poco if i if i have any specific questions regarding this particular rom first check out the video then you can comment down in the comment section and there is a separate whatsapp group is available for this poco ffig and if you want to use the gcam here you can check out whatsapp group uh, the link for that is in the description if you want to follow me on the social media those links are also in the description and flashing method video is also given in the description check out description guys and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button this is sampath signing off we'll meet you with another interesting video guys and that keep smelling bye bye for now